Welcome to the world of probiotic foods. This is Cultured Food Life with your host, Donna Schwenk. Welcome, everybody, and thank you for joining me. Uh, we're going to be talking about a subject that um, really has impacted my life in a large way, and people don't realize how much healthcare is affected by the foods they eat. And I want to talk to you about this because it has really had such a big impact on me. And it started, really started understanding what was going on about 18, 19 years ago when I was very, very sick. And I found myself at the age of 41, pregnant with my third child. And um, I got really sick. My liver started to shut down and my doctor delivered my baby early to save my life which was about eight weeks early. And she was really sick because babies get the, the mom's immunities the last six weeks in the womb. And so my little Holly didn't get any of my immunities. So she basically, they told me she didn't have a very good immune system because she didn't get my immunities. And so she could get them through nursing and things like that, which I did, but um, they wanted me to be very, very careful of, with her, not to take her out a lot of places to really protect her. Um, they had a drug they wanted to give her that helped to boost immunity. And oh goodness, it was, it was such a journey for me. Um, I spent all my days feeding her because she couldn't eat very much and she would get tired and I would have to weigh her before I fed her and weigh her after I fed her. And long story short, um, you know, I was feeling really bad and um, I had diabetes. It had come back. I'd had it during my pregnancy and then it came back. I had high blood pressure. I just felt awful. And, um, but I was on a mission to help that little baby because I felt bad. I felt like it was my fault that she was struggling because she had to be delivered so early. And I would walk around my house and I would just, you know, whisper words of, of prayers that would say, you know, I'm not supposed to live this way. Help us on the way. It's coming. I'll find the answers. I'll make things better. And it was about, uh, I think Holly was like nine months old, and um, I was in a health food store, and um, I found two books on the health in the health book section, and I grabbed them just randomly off of a bookshelf and uh, sat down on their chairs to read it. And one um, was the two books were Body Ecology by Donna Gates, and the other was uh, Nourishing Tradition by Sally Fallon. And when I opened the book, it opened, um, one of the books opened to this page on Kiefer. I'd never heard of it. I didn't know what it was. Uh, I thought it was interesting. I read a little bit about it. And then I opened the other book, kind of plopped it on top of the other book. And it randomly opened to a page. And it was on, that page was on Kiefer. I will never forget that. And right at that very moment, a store employee came and saw me reading these books. And he came and he stood in front of me and he said, you know what? That's one of the most important books you'll ever read. You should pay attention. And they walked away. And I was like, what is happening? I got chills. Um, I went and found this drink called Kiefer. I asked somebody what it was, and they showed it to me. I bought some. And I took the books home. I bought them and, and started reading about it and decided I was going to try it. Um, so I started giving it to Holly, like a little spoonful every time she ate. And, and then I started drinking it. And it was about three weeks later, and my husband walked into the living room holding Holly in his arms and said, Donna, Holly has gained four pounds, and she's got this color in her cheeks. It was this rosy color, and she wasn't spitting up anymore. She was sleeping through the night, and four pounds is a lot for a preemie to gain. And um, she just transformed. She looked completely different. And it wasn't too long after that. I had been making a, a peach kefir smoothie every morning. I used one cup of kefir, and I had a peach tree in my yard, so I would go pick peaches, and I would put them in a blender with my kefir, and I would swirl it up, and I drank it every morning. And then one morning, it was about th four weeks, three or four weeks, I was standing in the kitchen, I was doing dishes, and I was looking out my window. Suddenly, I found myself in the front yard, and I was filling up all of my bird feeders, and um, I remember watching the birds. And I remember looking around me and hearing them singing. The grass was greener in my mind. 
And it literally looked like somebody had turned the color up on my world. And I felt like my world had shifted. And I had this sense of well-being that I believe I have never known. I felt so good, but it was this joy I felt, this joy for existence, this, you know, excitement. I mean, weeks before, I didn't give a rip about those birds. They could get their own food. Um, But suddenly, I just, my heart opened up. I felt so good. I just, I, I can't even tell you what it was, but it was, it was this incredible sense of joy and well-being. And I didn't know what had happened to me. And I didn't know what had happened to my little girl, Holly. So I started researching. I started uh, trying to find things about it. There wasn't a lot of information on it back then. And there certainly wasn't, there was a very little amounts of research. But I started to uh, start to really research the bacteria. And there was like 50 plus bacteria in kefir and good yeast. And I started to learn about them because I wanted to know what happened to me. And I was up a lot at night feeding Holly because she ate round the clock because I was trying to put weight on her and trying to help her grow. And so I was up a lot at night. So when I would feed her, I would read and I would research with one hand uh, holding her and then research with the other. And that first year, everything changed for me. I knew that this food, whatever it was, had changed us so dramatically um, that I could never go back. It was so pronounced. And um, I started giving it to my other members in my family. And I started just to tell just a few friends. I didn't tell a lot. And I watched their kids get better. Some of them had food allergies and they they went away. And then some of them had asthma problems. And then they stopped using their asthma inhaler. And her husband stopped using his acid reflux medication. And um, people's uh, digestions were better. And I had one man who'd been on constipation medicine for over 10 years and he got off of it. And little by little, I started to see that this was changing so many lives. And I got really excited about it. And I felt really grateful because it had changed me so dramatically um, that I wanted to tell everybody about it. But not everybody was accepting of it. So I just quietly went about my ways, but it just started to spread. Because it wasn't me, it was the foods that had changed us. And when something makes you well, you pay attention. And you gravitate to that. And you nobody can even convince you otherwise, because you literally lived the experience yourself as to getting better. And when that happened to me, um, I started to notice other things started to get better. I started to find other cultured foods. Then I started to make kombucha and my husband fell in love with kombucha and that started to help him and it helped his joints a lot. I noticed. And we said without it, it bothered his joints would swell up. And, um, he'd also helped him to, it helped him with minerals. He, he helped, you know, he would sweat a lot. He was outside a lot. Um, he had a, a roofing, um, business and he would be outside with his guys and he would get in the sun and he would lose his minerals. And when he had kefir and, and these cultured foods and kombucha, it would help him retain them and he wouldn't, he would recover faster and he would also not lose them as quickly. And, um, my daughter, Macy, who was 16 at the time, she had IBS and then she had developed that rather quickly. And, uh, these foods helped heal her gut from food allergies, from IBS. And I started to see one by one, everybody started to get better. And what was exciting to me was the transformation that it had in me as far as every area of my life. When you don't feel good, you don't want to do things. Um, You know, in the very beginning, everybody was bugging me to write books and to teach classes. Well, I didn't want to, but then I felt so good that I started to do it, even though I didn't know what I was doing. And I started to feel better. And, um, you know, we stopped going to the doctor because we felt better. We never got sick anymore. And if we did, our bodies would recover so fast that we never needed to go to the doctor. And, um, you know, people were writing me and telling me that they didn't have any sick days they were using. And I get that a lot to this day. And, um, you know, you start to, I noticed that we ate less. Uh, We got so many nutrients from these foods that our grocery bill went down. And we started to feel better and we started making better food choices because we felt good and we wanted to enhance what we were already doing. 
You know, health is a relationship between you and your body. And so many of us um, put a lot of emphasis on other relationships, but we don't really make a good relationship with our body. And um, it really can make all the difference in the world if you do. Michael Pollan, who uh, wrote, who's an author and a speaker and who wrote the book In Defense of Food, had something really interesting to say that I thought was really good. And he said, is it just a coincidence that as the portion of our income spent on food has declined, spending on health care has soared? In 1960, Americans spent 17.5% of their income on food and 5.2% of national income on health care. Since then, those numbers have flipped. Spending on food has fallen to 9.9%, while spending on health care has climbed to 16% of national income. I have to think that by spending a little more on healthy food, we could reduce the amount that we have to spend on health care. And I really agree with what Michael said. You know, it's pretty crazy these days when you listen to the talk about health care and what to do about it. It causes so much fear in so many people. And, you know, one I'm well acquainted with, um, do you ever wonder why your life takes certain paths and certain challenges? Well, I do. And I was contemplating that this as I was listening to people debate over health care on TV. And, you know, my husband has always owned his own business. And then I've had my own business. Um, but we've always had to find our own health insurance because we were self-employed. So it's caused us to do many different things from those, you know, who have health insurance by their paid employers. Um, because we always had high deductibles to keep our costs down and staying healthy was of the utmost importance because, you know, if we went to the doctor, um, you know, it was, it was quite a bit of money for us because sometimes we had co-pays, but sometimes we didn't. And then it was, it was always, you know, having to get new health insurance every few years because they would start out with low costs and then they would accelerate and we didn't even go to the doctor. So it wasn't because we were using it. It's just because of how, I don't know if it was because we were getting older. I don't know. But, um, you know, we just don't go. I mean, I, we just don't go unless it's absolutely necessary. And uh, very seldom do we ever go to the doctor. And uh, actually, my, my oldest daughter, she never has gone because she was ill. And uh, she's 18 now. And, you know, it, it was a challenge for us, but it made us strong. And it taught us many things that I would never have learned any other way. It, you know, if we would get sick... I would try to understand what was causing it. I would look for the solution. Um, I learned to use food as medicine. And although times are challenging as it was, I really found an understanding of my body that led us to where I am today. And uh, I only, you know, I'm not against doctors. I think they're great. My brother-in-law is a doctor. I love him. I think he's wise. But I also think that sometimes we don't listen to our own wisdom and, um, you know, never understanding the wisdom and guidance of our own bodies. And that has been such a journey for me because when your, when your body produces symptoms, it's a warning sign. And, you know, don't get me wrong, I think health, health insurance is important, but so many people are ignoring these magnificent bodies that we live in. And they are one of the best healing machines around. Your body is a virtual pharmaceutical factory all on its own. And I have seen that again and again within my family and with myself. You know, we have lost touch with this. And so sometimes we medicate ourselves to cover up the symptoms that are meant to help and show us another way. And I have seen that in myself. Like when I have a certain thing that happens that is stressful, I can feel my body start to create hormones and chemical uh, things in my body that create disease. I can feel it happening inside of me. I've gotten so sensitive to that. I know it creates wellness. I know it creates disease. And your body are, is constantly doing that all day long. Uh, we kind of take it for granted, uh, but you're making all kinds of hormones and chemicals that are keeping you well or making you sick, depending on what you're doing with your daily diet, with your stress, with your exercise, with everything in your life. Um, those are things that are happening inside of you. Uh, almost, it, and it's almost the same as taking drugs, except they're natural healing elements in your body, but they're also elements that can create disease. So what if each and every one of us started paying attention to the foods we put in our mouth that makes up the cells of our body? Would your body change and behave better if it had better fuel? 
What if you ate living probiotic foods every day? Foods that have billions of probiotics that help you digest your food, makes vitamins, minerals, heals, and repairs the damage in your gut and makes you feel alive inside, just like it did me. It would make such a difference. And I know this because I see it every day in emails and posts on my site and all over my social media. And sometimes I wish I could put out each and every letter so you could see what is happening um, every day. Just this week on my Facebook page and on Instagram, I had just the most wonderful testimonies. I had one testimony of a woman who was so sick and was in the hospital. And now she's doing so much better. She's having her cultured foods every day. And it's made such a difference in her life. I saw another one on Instagram that said, uh, I discovered amazing Donna and cultured foods over four years ago. I had two kids. I was overweight, had an anxiety driven life that ate my guts from the inside out. I hurt. I was in pain, but I started on kombucha, milky for a kraut, and I love them all. And it has helped me lose a hundred pounds and so much more. And it is an exciting thing to live, you know, in a place where you get to witness yourself, your body healing itself. That is such a thrill and it empowers you and it really makes you shine to other people and they want to know what you're doing. So you not only make yourself better, you know, but you make everyone around you better because you become a lighthouse to everybody. And, you know, it's so much fun to see it happen, not with drugs, but with food. I'm just one person, but I am yelling as loud as I can and hoping that I can make a difference with my own life. And I'm so thankful for the struggles. I'm so thankful for the sickness and disease that is now gone that helped me to find the answers that just resided within me. I could heal and my body would help me. And I was the captain of my own ship and the master of my destiny. And I had to work together with my body and help it steer its right course. And with that fuel, I fed it and it got better and better and better. Here's another um, wonderful testimonial. And I have a bunch of these on my lives touch page at culturefoodlife.com. If you want to go read all these testimonies, I've got so many people that submit them. It's wonderful because it's thrilling to me. It keeps me going and keeps me inspired. But this one was from Penny and she said, I wrote to you a couple months ago. I was desperate for help. My kidney doctor had just told me that my kidneys were functioning at 20%. I needed to choose which form of dialysis I would prefer, and it was just a death sentence to me. I had had several health problems through the years, and this was heading for a crash really soon. I'd asked you if you'd ever heard of anyone who had tried this cultured food and drink way of life with any results repairing kidney functions, and you told me not that you had heard of, but you gave me encouragement to try it anyway. So in my grief and despair, I decided to do just that. Don, I went back to the kidney care doctor just recently. And he just kept shaking his head and said he didn't understand how or why this way worked, but that not only had I lost weight in the last two months that I saw him, but my kidney function went up 10%. Yay, God. He said he had never heard of this happening before ever. And the nurse came back in after the visit and said in all the years she'd worked for him, she'd never seen him speechless like that. All this, Donna, after only doing approximately one and a half months of kefir. Many blessings, Penny. And since this time, this was a this was about, I think this was, I don't remember when this we got this letter, but I have gotten so many people telling me how kefir has helped them with kidney function, everywhere from um, people to dogs that were um, actually diagnosed that they were at stage four and weren't going to live longer, that have bounced back. And then there's been all this research that's come out that uh, the bacteria that's in kefir, the good bacteria is in yeast, help to eat up the toxic debris that's in urea that causes so many kidneys to struggle. And I've seen it again and again. And that's just only, you know, one health ailment. I've seen it across the board with so many different health ailments that it helps that I didn't even know it would help. And uh, it's thrilling to me to be able to share with you um, the things in my life that have made all the difference. And um, it's just food, guys. And when you get better, you help everybody around you. You just can't help it. It's just the way that it works. And not only that, the, you know, when you change the bacteria in your body, you're, you're 100 trillion bacteria. Every time you touch somebody, every time you're around somebody, every time you go into a place, you infuse that place with your good bacteria. That's the way that it works. So without knowing it, you're changing the world around you. Um, that is so crucial in this world where so many super bugs are 
you know, happening. This is a powerful way for you to change your environment just simply by changing what you eat and adding some cultured foods to your diet, eating lots of healthy foods. It makes all the difference in the world. You know, um, you're going to spend less time at the doctor. You're going to have less six days. You're going to save money on health insurance costs. You're going to see a huge difference in your life. And not only that, but when you feel better, you do better. And I never, ever thought I would be doing what I am now. I didn't want to do what I was now because I didn't feel good. I was all scared and sick and afraid and and once you get healthy and your body helps you, you feel invincible. You feel as though you can do so many things that you never dreamed of. And it's, you know, simply changing what you eat and what you put in your mouth um, that makes the cells of your body. So I hope this encourages you. I hope it helps you. Um, food is powerful medicine, guys. And it has made all the difference for me. I love these foods. They are the answer to my prayers and to my cries for help. And little did I know that not only they would change my body and my health, but they would change my whole life and give me um, a dream job that I never even saw coming. I never in a million years thought I'd do this. Didn't even know I wanted to do it. Um, but right there below the surface, it was waiting for me, hidden down below the sickness and the despair. It was right there underneath it all. And now I have a job that I just absolutely love or I help hundreds of people, you know, every day we get so many emails and it is a thrill to me um, just to love on you guys a little bit. You know, I have a staff of people that help me, but um, we're very compassionate people. We've all seen these foods change our life. I've, I've got a web manager that had stage three cancer that is just seven years cancer free. My daughter had IBS. I've got uh, editors. It's, it's just an amazing thing to watch people heal to be happy and to know that their bodies um, worked with them to bring about that wellness. So have a wonderful week, guys. Uh, be encouraged. Uh, be inspired. Uh, you are, you know, you your bacteria in, inside of you can help you and make you live a really happy, well life. So have a great one. And thanks for listening. Uh, I appreciate it. We'll see you next time.